I want to talk just now about hope. Uh, Alexander Pope wrote, Hope springs eternal in the human breast. Uh, in other words, if we don't have hope, uh, we can't really survive. And uh, we always look for opportunities to be hopeful. Uh, but it has been said, uh, I'm not sure who by, but uh, it has been said the following. It has been said that man can live about 40 days without food, about three days without water, and about eight minutes without air, but only one second without hope. Uh, there's a great deal of truth in that. And the government at the moment are uh, balancing something that is really quite difficult to balance. Um, and that is keeping us safe by keeping us indoors, but by giving us hope of some timetable, apparently, to be explained this week, of when uh, that lift, uh, that uh, shut-in, that lock-in will be lifted to some degree and some timetable to give us future hope. That's always very important. But I want to talk really about the fact that Christians are people of hope, a much more uh, wonderful hope that the Apostle Paul says won't disappoint us, because a lot of uh, human hope does disappoint us. I hope that uh, this week will be as sunny as we've seen in the last few weeks uh, I may be absolutely wrong. But Christian hope, says Paul, doesn't disappoint us. Listen to how Peter put it, that uh, great big lovable bear of a, of a man, a fisherman, who was, became a great uh, leader of the early Christian church. Listen to how Peter puts it in his first letter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Uh, do read the first uh, nine verses of First Peter for yourself and think about what Peter is actually saying. He says that when a person opens their heart and their life to Jesus Christ as their saviour and they trust him that what he did on Calvary's tree was enough to restore our relationship with God and to save us and accept Jesus' lordship over our life and therefore want to live and live for him and follow him as disciples, then they're born again into a whole new life. Paul put it like this, if any man is in Christ, he's a new creation. And part of the DNA of this new creation is uh, putting hope in our hearts. And the hope is based on the fact of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Because the Lord Jesus conquered death and rose from the dead bodily from the, from the, from the dead, um, he is a living Lord. And uh, that doesn't just mean that, um, you know, things that seem awful can turn out good. That is true, isn't it? We often worry about things that don't turn out anything like as bad or as difficult as we fear. But no, much more than that, because Jesus conquered death, we are uh, people of real hope. Hope because we know uh, a living Lord with us, his presence by his spirit with us to help us through the challenges of life. We're not promised by him um, to be uh, taken away from the difficulties of life or the challenges of life. But what makes the difference for the Christian is that he has promised to be with us in them. Peter goes on to talk about some of the trials that we may face this side of heaven and some of the difficulties and the challenges and the heartaches. But he says, nonetheless, we have a, a, an imperishable hope which is undefiled and unfading. And uh, that hope which won't disappoint us and is sure is the presence of Jesus with us through life. 
uh, not just the presence of Jesus with us through life, but that we are people who've been adopted into God's family and we have an inheritance waiting for us in eternity, which is undefiled. Uh, the word that Peter uses here was um, something that was important to you and a treasure to you, which uh, when an invading army came, uh, couldn't didn't defile didn't get hold of and and peter uh, says here that nothing can really shake or defile or take away um our hope from us because of the resurrection of the lord jesus he has ascended and gone back to heaven to open the door for us he calls us as our living lord uh, his brothers those who have opened their lives to him, become his brothers in God's heavenly family with our heavenly father looking after us. But he's gone back to prepare a place for us and heaven awaits um, the Christian. The longest part, I often say to, to friends and anybody who will listen, the longest part of our lives is not here in this world as Christians, but is in, in, in eternity with the Lord Jesus and with all those who have loved him and gone before. That's a fantastic hope. Uh, we are never, as Christians, hopeless either in this life or as we contemplate the future. The Lord but will be with us in this life, and our future is all about seeing him face to face and enjoying eternity with him. The New Testament reminds us that eye has not seen nor ear heard, what God has in store for those who love him. It will be treasure beyond treasure and wonder beyond wonder. In a day when so many people are hopeless, are scratching around looking for some kind of hope which may disappoint them. In fact, uh, my son has just told me today that a, a, a recent survey in The Guardian um, mentions that a third of young people between 18 and 34 have been watching uh, a Christian service in the last few weeks, um, much more so than a, an older section of the population, interestingly enough. In other words, young people are looking for something to believe in, looking for some ground of hope, looking for some answer to the deepest questions in life. Jesus is the answer. Christians are people who've got hope in their DNA. And if you want to become a hopeful person, invite Christ into your life. Not a dead hero that we follow, but the living Lord who has conquered death, who loves you, wants a relationship with you, will be with you through life and has opened heaven for you if you trust him and believe in him. So be people of hope. And as believers, rejoice in that tremendous hope which will never disappoint us, whatever virus comes or goes.